Welcome to this podcast. This is a portion of enjoyment from the morning revival for today, week 2 day 3 in the Holy Word for morning revival on the topic of, an overview of the central burden and present truth of the Lord's recovery before His appearing. The title for today's sharing of enjoyment is, Being Regenerated and Built in the Body to Become Part of the Divine and Mystical Realm. If you enjoy this article, do not forget to share it with your friends and also leave us a comment with what you have enjoyed. As believers in Christ, we become part of the divine and mystical realm of the consummated spirit by our divine birth of God, and we remain and are in this realm of the spirit by being in the reality of the body of Christ and by being built up in the body. Amen. If you read the Gospel of John you will realize that the Lord Jesus preached today is very different from what we see in this Gospel. Every chapter of the Gospel of John speaks concerning the divine and mystical realm where the triune God, and we as believers will enter. We may try to understand or apprehend what this Gospel says with our mind, but it is beyond our mind. Word study and analysis lead us to all kinds of conclusions, but what this Gospel speaks of is something divine and mysterious, even mystical. Here was a man who was not just a man and not just God but God becoming a man, a man who was the incarnation of God. He was the Word of God in the beginning, and He was incarnated, He became flesh, John 1 14. He lived in a mysterious way, not according to human logic or rational but one with the Father. He spoke one with the Father, He did the works of the Father, and He sought the glory of the Father. When He was about to be enthroned by those around Him, He hid Himself. He did not bask in the glory of His success nor did He despair when those around Him, including His own family, rejected Him. He did not build a great following in order to make a physical, outward kingdom, but He sowed the Word of God in the hearts of men. Then, at the peak of His ministry, He went to the cross willingly and died. It seemed that everything was going so well, and then He died, and everything seemed to finish. But then He was raised on the third day and came on the day of His resurrection and breathed into the disciples saying, Receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Breath. This is so mysterious. He lived a perfect human life, did many things with spiritual significance, spoke many matters, and had a great impact on those around us not by the way He looked but by His living and expressing of God. Again and again throughout his ministry, he spoke concerning his death, the baptism of his death, him dying as a grain of wheat, and the another comforter which he will send, and the Father will send in his name. If we read the Gospel of John without coming to the Lord so that he may reveal to us what is in his heart, we will be more confused than clear concerning what the Lord said and did. He said that his flesh is the real food and his blood is the real drink, and he said that unless we eat his flesh and drink his blood we have no share in him. Wow! May we come to the Lord as we come to His Word so that He is the Spirit of reality would guide us into all the reality of what He is, and may we be in the realm where He is, in the sphere of the Spirit where He lives and is, so that we may enjoy Him, partake of Him, be one with Him, and even become Him. In our experience, we become part of the divine and mystical realm of the consummated Spirit through regeneration. The divine and mystical realm of the consummated Spirit is simply the realm of the Spirit, into which we enter by our birth, it is the kingdom of God, the real of God's life, God's species, where we have God with all that He is and has and has done. The Gospel of John, a mysterious gospel on the divine life, shows us that we become in our experience part of the divine and mystical realm of the consummated Spirit, and the pneumatic Christ. In John 14 16-20 the Lord Jesus said that He will ask the Father, and He will give the disciples another Comforter, the Spirit of Reality, who will be with them forever. The world doesn't know Him nor does it behold Him, but the disciples know Him, for He abides with them and shall be in them. Even as the Lord lives, so we also shall live for on the day of His resurrection all His disciples will realize that the Son is in the Father, we are in the Son, and the Son is in us. On the day of resurrection we all as believers in Christ were regenerated to become part of the divine and mystical realm of the consummated Spirit. We become part of the divine and mystical realm by regeneration, which is our divine birth, John 3 5-6. The only way we can become part of the human kingdom, the kingdom of man, is by the physical birth of our human parents. We become part of the divine and mystical realm through the divine birth, through our being born again of God in our spirit, through regeneration we were born into the divine and mystical realm. However, just as a child who is born to human parents needs to grow and develop in order to participate in the kingdom of man, we as believers in Christ to grow in life and develop in order to participate in all the riches of what God is. The Bible clearly tells us that we become part of the divine and mystical realm by participating in many of God's characteristics. We participate in the life of God by being born of God, John 3 15, we partake of God's nature, Ephesians 1 4, 2 Pet. 1 4, and we have the mind of Christ, Ephesians 4 23, Phil. 2 5. We become part of the divine and mystical realm by participating in God's being, 
2 Corinthians 3 18, Ephesians 3 8, Image, Tukul. 3 colon 18a, Romans 8 29, Glory v 30, Hebrews 2 10, Sonship, Ephesians 1 5, Romans 8 23, Manifestation, v 19, and Likeness, 1 John 3 2. Wow! According to the New Testament, as seen in these verses, we participate in God's life, nature, mind, being, image, glory, sonship, manifestation, and likeness. In every possible way, we participate in what God is, what He does, and what He has accomplished and attained. This means that all these become our experience. Day by day we become part of the divine and mystical realm by participating in the life of God, the mind of God, the being of God, the image of God, the glory of God, the sonship of God, the manifestation of God, and the likeness of God. When the disciples were with the Lord Jesus before His resurrection, they could not understand these things, because the Lord was right there with them in the flesh. But the Lord spoke of that day, the day of His resurrection, when He came into them to be their life and everything. The Lord Jesus came as the first Comforter, and even though He went through death and resurrection and seemingly left the disciples, He came to them as another Comforter, the Spirit of Reality. He came and breathed into them the Spirit, and this Spirit is to guide them into all the reality of what He is, what He has done, and what He has attained and obtained. This is amazing. This is beyond what our mind can understand. This is seen and apprehended by the exercise of our spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, but what is born of the spirit is spirit. As believers in Christ, we are born of the spirit to be one with God in spirit, and we have a human spirit that is one with the divine spirit so that we can understand and apprehend the divine things. We need to exercise our spirit and contact the Lord day by day so that we may participate in and enjoy all that God is to us in Christ as the Spirit, and we will become part of the divine and mystical realm. Wow, in our experience we can become part of the realm of the Spirit by participating in what God is and has done. Hallelujah, we believers in Christ have become part of the divine and mystical realm of the consummated Spirit through the divine birth. Thank you, Lord, for regenerating us with your life so that we may be born of God and enter into the realm of God the realm of the divine species. Wow, we human beings can be born of God, and God can be enjoyed by us in spirit. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus, for not leaving us orphans but coming to us as another comforter, the spirit of reality, to guide us into the reality of all that you are. Hallelujah, we today can participate in God's life, nature, mind, being, image, glory, sonship, manifestation, and likeness. Amen, Lord, we want to enjoy you today and become part of the divine and mystical realm in our daily experience. Keep us enjoying you in spirit so that we may further enter into and become part of the realm of the spirit until we and God are fully one. We become part of the divine and mystical realm by being built up in the body of Christ. On the personal side, we become part of the divine and mystical realm of the consummated spirit by being regenerated with the life of God and participating in the attributes of God's being and person. On the collective side, the corporate side, we become part of the divine and mystical realm by being built up in the body of Christ, Ephesians 4 16. The body of Christ is a mysterious entity created by Christ through His death and resurrection, before His death and resurrection, there was no such thing as the body of Christ. All those who believe into Christ become not only sons of God but also members of Christ, members of the body Christ. There is a limit on how much we can participate in the divine and mystical realm personally, especially if we are individualistic and independent. But as we grow in life and advance with the Lord in a normal way, we realize that apart from the Lord we can do nothing, John 15 5, and also apart from the body of Christ, we can do nothing, for just as we need Christ as our life, so we need the church as our living. Just as we depend on Christ as our life, for He is our life and life supply, so we cannot live without the body of Christ, for the body is our bountiful supply, Philippians 1 19. We are alive today because of Christ who is our life, and we can go on with the Lord because we are in the body, related as members to one another, living in the reality of the body of Christ. Once we realize we are members in the body, depending on the other members and learning to function in our measure and receiving others' function, we will further live in the divine and mystical realm. The body of Christ is a divine and mystical realm, and the more we are in the reality of the body of Christ, the more we are in the divine and mystical realm, Romans 12 4-5, 1 Corinthians 12 12 13 27, Ephesians 1 23 4 16. If we read the books of Romans and 1 Corinthians we see that the body of Christ is another realm, something different, beyond and above what the physical realm is, it is even more intrinsic than the local churches. The local churches are the expression of the one universal body of Christ, and we all as believers in Christ are members of the body, members one of another. The believers are blended into one entity to be the mystical body of Christ, 1 Corinthians 12 24, 27. This means that we need to be blended where we are, 
where the Lord has placed us. On one hand, Christ the Head has blended the body together. On the other hand, we need to allow the Lord to blend us. In our function in the church life and in the body, we need to be blended with the other saints. There cannot be a king in the church life, nor is there a lead elder or pastor in the church. We all are believers in Christ, we all have a function, and there are some who are manifested to be leading ones, but there is no king, pastor, or unique leader except Christ Himself, who is the head. We need to be blended into one entity to be the mystical body of Christ so that we may be clearly aware that in the whole church, we are blended together to be the body of Christ. God the Father is the source, having all the riches, these riches are embodied in Christ the Son, who embodies and expresses the Father. The Spirit receives all that Christ has and is and declares it to us for the producing of the Church, the body of Christ that consummates the new Jerusalem to express the all-inclusive Christ for His glorification for eternity. It is amazing how the triune God works as one, operates as one, and does everything as one in order for us to be brought into the enlarged oneness and blending of the triune God so that we may become the body of Christ consummating in the new Jerusalem. Lord Jesus, We want to live in the reality of the body of Christ today so that we may become part of the divine and mystical realm of the consummated Spirit in our experience today. We depend on You, Lord Jesus, for You are our life and our everything. Amen, Lord. We also depend on the body, for the bountiful supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ is to us when we're in the body. We need You, Lord, and we need the body. We want to live in the reality of the body of Christ today so that we may be in the divine and mystical realm. Blend us together with the saints in the body of Christ. We open to your blending work. Save us from our individualism and independence. Keep us in the body, being properly related to the fellow members in the body and being blended together into one. Amen. Lord Jesus, we open to your divine dispensing and we also open to the function of the fellow members in the body so that we may be and live in the divine and mystical realm.